In the last session, we looked at dynamic indexes. Indexes that were created automatically or dynamically for us by RavenDB in response to a query. While this works for many cases, there are times when you want to define an index yourself and query against it. These are called static indexes. And in this lesson, you'll see how to create them and how to run queries against them. So to start, we're going to create a simple index that indexes the names of a recipe similar to that auto-generated index we saw in the last lesson. So we're going to add a new class. We'll call it recipes by name. And we're going to derive from abstract index creation task of type recipe. That tells Raven that this is an index and gives us some useful helper functions inside of our class. We'll add a default constructor. Now that we have our index definition, the class that is, let's write our link statement that actually selects the fields that we want to index over. Map is an expression that takes a list of recipes and selects the name from each recipe. Simple enough, it should be familiar to anyone who has used linked before. You'll want to deploy your index to the server at app initialization time. For our demo, we'll do it after creating the document store. So here we are. What we'll do is we'll create a new instance of our index and we'll call execute to actually store it. And if we run that, we should see our index appear in Raven Studio. There we go, it's done. Let's have a look. Go over to indexes. Indeed, we see recipes by name. Let's look at the index definition by editing that index. And it's more or less just as we coded it, going over all the recipes and selecting the name from each recipe. Let's go back to the code. If we have multiple indexes, Raven allows for a simpler way to deploy all of them rather than calling execute on each one. What we can do is create them all in a batch. We'll say index creation, create indexes, What are we doing here? We're telling Raven to scan this assembly, that is, everything inside the assembly that we're coding here, this console application, to find all indexes in this assembly, and then to store them, passing in the Raven DB document store. Now that we have our index defined and deployed to the server, our final step is actually to use it. So let's write some code to run a query against this index. You'll notice we're going to pass a second par type parameter here. And what that is, is, as you might imagine, is we're asking for recipes to come back, and we're telling it to use the recipes by name index. This will force Raven to select this index to fulfill the results of the query. And we'll say... So let's run it under debugger and see the results. Uh, 
And there's our one recipe that matches. So we've told Raven to use this index and we ran the query as usual and got the results as expected. Great. You might ask, what happens if we omit the index in the query call? What happens? For example, if we just query by recipe, will Raven try to create a new dynamic index, kind of a duplicate index? What happens? Well, let's, let's run it and see. First, let's go back and make sure we only have, yes, we only have this one index. Great. And now if we go back here and run this without specifying the index, let's see what results we get back. Okay. So we got the one result as expected. Did Raven create a duplicate index? Let's see. It did not. Why not? Because, again, Raven is intelligent about managing these indexes. In this case, it looked, when we issued this query, it looked to see if there was any index that could fill a, a query for recipes by name. As it happens, it looked at the code for this index and said, yes, this, this index can fulfill the query. And so it just selected it and used it. So what it comes down to is, if you have in multiple indexes that could fulfill a query, you'll want to specify the index name as a type parameter here in the query. But otherwise, Raven's smart enough to do the right thing and choose the right index for you. Another time when specifying the index is important is when doing full text search, which we'll cover in a future lesson.